ended up in the garage. On the heels of the president's executive order to curb gun violence, Washington Governor Jay Inslee today announcing one of his own. Governor Inslee called gun violence a public health crisis and is taking a public health approach to combat it. KXY 4's Katie Curry working for you now with more details on the governor's new initiative. Katie? Nadine, today Inslee signed an executive order that uses a data-driven approach to identify people, places susceptible to gun crime and suicides. He says, we have used this approach in the past to combat other issues and sees it having the same impact on curbing gun violence. The scourge of gun violence continues to inflict pain of that the heart cannot forget. An avid proponent of gun control, Governor Jay Inslee took steps today to combat the issue in the state of Washington. Every single day, someone in the state of Washington dies from gun violence. Inslee's signed executive order launches a statewide public health initiative to reduce and prevent gun-related fatalities and injuries. Gun violence is obviously a very complex problem and the solutions will require a very complex approach. We'll take uh, multi-factorial approaches to address it. Inslee hopes that's exactly what his data-driven approach will do. As Dr. Joel McCullough points out, it's the same approach taken to reducing car crash fatalities over the last two decades. A variety of things were researched and enforced, like seatbelt laws and DUI patrols, to help decrease those statistics. Something supporters believe is very much needed in Washington. There's been an increasing trend for deaths in uh, Spokane County and Washington State as it relates to gun violence. So the problem seems to be getting worse. The Spokane Regional Health District says each year gun-related deaths in Spokane surpass car fatalities. 80% of gun-related deaths are suicides. Part of the governor's order requires the Department of Health collaborate with other government entities to review data on deaths related to firearms, as well as recommend strategies to reduce firearm-related fatalities and serious injuries, including suicide. As long as I'm governor, Washington will be one of those states that says clearly, when it comes to gun violence, enough is enough. Inslee said he wants to further strengthen the background check law approved by voters in 2014. But Sheriff Ozzie Knezovich says the current one isn't working as it is. Tonight on KXY4 News at 6, hear what the sheriff says the government needs to be doing to really put an end to gun violence. Reporting live in studio, Katie Curry, KXLY4 News. Thank you, Katie. Well, as President Obama calls for new restrictions, gun sales surging across the country.